Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video about this latest version of the Recon 35. This is the Recon 35 V2 that has been released recently, part of the HGLRC lineup. Now, HGLRC have been making Recon models for quite a long time, and I've looked at many of them on the channel already. Put a couple of links down below if you want to go and have a look. My favourite out of all of them was actually the Recon 5. I absolutely love that and I lost it thanks to a DJI FPV issue and it didn't have GPS on that particular model. That's why all of my models that have HDFPV on now have a GPS return to home feature because of that exact model. Still have my Recon 6 and still love that and fly that regularly. However, a whole point of the whole Recon stuff was so good back in the day was because it was a collaboration between a guy called Dave C. And he actually made lots of really, some were quite weird and wacky, but loads of them had innovative features that kind of did things that nobody else did. It appears that HGLRC are continuing that with their latest models, and this has an unusual feature that I personally haven't seen for quite a few years, and that is that under this cover here at the back is actually room for two 18650 batteries. So this is lithium-ion powered, designed to fly for about 15 minutes, room inside for a HDFPV system if you want it. There's a great big whacking heat sink here at the bottom so it can try and keep things cool. Has a little cover that snaps down over those batteries. Room in the front for your camera. And crucially, there's also room here for the GPS as well. So just as I mentioned at the beginning, this one potentially does have the ability to come home if something nasty happens and you won't lose everything that's in it. So let me just cover the headlines for this thing as I show you how it comes in the box. Again, this is designed to give a 15 minute, they're calling it long endurance. I think 15 minutes on a quad like this is excellent, uh, but I personally think long endurance is anything over 30 minutes, but um, it is a 15 minute flight on this. Optional versions, uh, there's analog version, an 04 light HD version, and the power kit version, which is the one that I've got here. The power kit version, unfortunately, doesn't come with the GPS. I've had to order that separately. That still hasn't arrived as I'm recording the video, and uh, it doesn't come with an FPV system. It would have been nice to have the cables to plug those into the flight controller inside the box. And you'll see in a moment that sadly those don't come. However, there are solderable pads on the side. Recon, if you're watching this, put the cables for the flight controller in the box. I'll show you what it looks like inside because the flight controller inside this thing is definitely non-standard. It's going to use two 18650 power batteries um, for that flight. You're going to have to use pretty decent ones for for that. Um, 18650s come in lots of different healths, I guess you'd call them, different ratings. Your standard kind of, you know, your Sony VC6s and things like that. But, you know, you're going to have to go for a good battery, something that you've harvested out an, an old vape from that you found on the side of the road isn't going to give you that kind of flight time does, however, if you look at the back, I'll show you in a minute, there are two C ports and one of them is to charge the internal lithium ion batteries, which is nice. And the other one then is to give you access to the flight controller so you can plug it in and mess around with the beta flight settings. I'll show you those two in a moment. You do power it on and off with a button. Not a massive fan of that personally. And it does say, give a warning that if you're going to have the batteries installed in this, but not fly it for a couple of days, take the batteries out. So there is a parasitic draw going on, I'm guessing, because it's an electronic switch, basically. I'm not a massive fan of that. It's a nice idea, and this is a very much more finished version than the first version of the Recon 35. Uh, that was very much more a skeletonized version of this, but was probably um, a lot lighter thanks to that. Inside the flight controller is an STM32 H743 based high performance flight controller. So when you can see gyro and PID loops, it can handle without getting into any kind of stress at all. The body on this is injection molded. It's very nicely finished and has parts for both the cover on the GPS mount and the camera mount the pivot for the battery cover, but also the cover at the bottom, which encloses your HDFPV system or your analog FPV system. And it has the heat sink at the bottom of as well. That is gonna limit airflow. So, you know, I'm 
interested to see how that actually works in practice because normally you want a bit of airflow around your HDFPV system as if you run a little hot. But it does have a buzzer and it does have customizable RGB light strips, which means that along with the GPS installed in this, there's an excellent chance that if something goes wrong, you'll be able to get it back or be able to find it. So the specs, again, this is the Recon 35 V2, three and a half inch 2S long range FPV quad, HGLRC H743 flight controller inside. It's an all in one unit with a 20 amp speed controller, bits and pieces in here too. Integrated Express LRS 2.4 gig. Motors on here, a Spectre 1404 5500 KV units. Optional VTX is, is designed for your 04 air unit. Recon, come on, stop listening to your DJI rep. Make it so that it's universal for everybody. I am not going to be putting DJI in this. It'll be something else when I get to that point. Stay tuned. I've ordered the HDLRC M100 Mini to go in the slot at the front so that I can do that. Propellers that come in the box are the Gem Fan 3630s, and the weight is anywhere between 169 to 180 grams, which isn't bad at all. So let me show you what it looks like internally and I kind of show you all the different pieces. So to take it apart, all the screws are on the bottom. The two catches each side are the ones that you need to pinch together and that then allows you to pull up the canopy that covers both of the batteries. Again, slightly redundant in my humble opinion, but a nice feature. If you undo the six screws at the bottom, and then that gives you access into the custom flight controller. So you can see here that it is kind of the all-in-one unit. Um, very unusual, very bespoke. That potentially could limit the ability to kind of do customization on this. Although I don't think it's aimed at those of us who like to tinker. Again, I would have loved to have seen all of the cables for these additional ports for this flight controller in the box. If it's not coming with a VTX, it's not coming with the GPS, those cables should be in here so you can add them easily without having to figure out what connectors they are and all that stuff too. In terms of the beta flight setup, be aware that there are two connections at the back. You need to pull down the spring-loaded antenna holder. Love that feature. If you crash, it means you're not gonna pull, rip the antenna off. Behind that is the port that you're gonna plug it into, and then you can start beta flight and have a look. The cool thing with this is there is something in the data flash. This has been armed before it was shipped, which I love to see. Loads and loads and loads and loads of UARTs. GPS is set for UART 3. We have ESC telemetry. The receiver is connected to UART 2. So I'll show you in a minute. It does appear and operates as a separate Express LRS receiver. 8K gyro and PID loops running at 27% CPU load. Again, this is a H7 based processor. It can do that standing on its head. Battery and power looks like this. I'll put a dump and diff down below if you want to go and have a look at it. Fail safe, even on this one that doesn't ship with the GPS, is set for GPS rescue, which I would recommend that you do. Again, I'm going to add a GPS to this one when I build this out and I'll show you what it flies like. Pit tuning is set like this. Uh, I, I'm not going to change any of this before I fly it. I'm going to build it out and we'll take it to the field. I'll get two decent 18650s. CRSF is set, but the telemetry outputs aren't turned on, weirdly. Modes is going to need a little bit of a play. It's only set up for angle. Um, not sure why, but, you know, it's that's how it set it up. Um, then the OSD is probably going to need a little bit of tweaking as well. Again, dump and diff are down below if you really want to have a look. So my plans for this have changed a little bit since I first got this in. I got this in because what I really wanted to do was to have a test bed quad that I could just drop new HDFPV systems in to try. And because of the slightly odd construction here in that everything's enclosed and they've tried to make it look sleek, which again, I'm not completely 100% convinced about because for endurance, particularly with lithium ion, uh, the least amount of weight 
is what you really want. And that's what Dave C, I think, I was very clever at. You know, the last one of these things that had dual lithium ion batteries in was basically a flying battery case. Didn't have an awful lot more to it. So maybe this isn't going to be my model that I'm going to use for all those tests. However, what I'm going to do is get hold of the GPS. Um, again, be aware that the GPS does not ship in this base version that doesn't come with any FPV equipment, but put a GPS in it and then potentially either put the ascent system in it from walk snail or one of the others and kind of fly it around. I'm interested to see how long a flight time you can actually get out of two 18650s. And stay tuned, we'll find out. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.